Holy Mother Church asks you to ordain these, our brothers, to the responsibility of the priesthood. Therefore, relying on the help of the Lord God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, we choose these men, our brothers, for the order of the priesthood. The, the words that the Archbishop prayed, you know, that, that actually it's the moment of ordination, um, that's the moment that I really teared up. Um, and so for me, that was the most moving, that, that, that phrase in the middle of that prayer. Yes, of course, hearing confessions, forgiving people's sins, of course, anointing those who are dying. But there's also a personal, um, for me, I've always wanted to be able to give blessings, you know, to the people of God, to give blessings, uh, bless people's houses, bless couples on their anniversaries, um, to, you know, any kind of blessing, you know, and so I'm, I'm looking forward to that for sure. For these eight men, the Lord Jesus spoke to their hearts and not to their ears. And he said to them, come follow me. I need you to lead and to shepherd and to serve my people. I can't believe that our Lord took me and that he chose me among so many people that are much more worthy than I to do this. Probably the litany of the saints. And then when we were actually standing there saying mass, we were like, you know, you're saying mass now. Yeah, so that was probably those two moments. So we ask you, my brothers, as you lie prostrate, to empty yourself. And then you will rise and offer yourselves to be filled with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Well, the Archbishop Tomily, when he focused on emptying ourselves, he actually gave us a little, a little tip before the ordination that he was going to be preaching about that. And as I was lying prostrate on the ground, I really focused on that. And honestly, even at the ordination, there are things that I'm like worried about. I have to preach tomorrow. I got to celebrate mass. Like all these like details. But then I just decided to mass to empty myself of all of that and allow Jesus to fill me because it's he who's going to be ministering through me. And so just really being able to do that was a great grace during the Mass and I'm filled with tremendous joy right now. My sisters and brothers, the Lord Jesus has spoken to the hearts of these men. Come follow me. I need you to lead and to serve my people. I still have a lot to learn uh, via St. Anthony Marisi, and so I look forward to learning, continue learning from Father Bashar, but also the parishioners there, and so, and to offer the sacraments. Um, and so it's going to be an exciting year, but certainly a year of transition. I'm exhilarated. I'm simply at a loss of words. It hasn't quite hit me yet that I'm now ordained. It's a very long journey, but God has been good, and I've trusted Him. And it's, it's going to take a while just to sink in uh, what has just happened. <laughs> Do you resolve to exercise the ministry of the word worthily and wisely, preaching the gospel and teaching the Catholic faith? You know, the chrism oil smells so good. And, and it was on uh, a diaper, first diaper of my son, okay, my oldest son, who has passed away, and I dedicate my uh, priesthood to him and consecrated to our Blessed Mother. But, but the oil of chrism, um, I mean... It just fills my heart. The, uh, the most inexpressible joy that you can feel um, as I give myself completely to our Lord and the people of God. It's been a, a long journey through uh, thick and thin, and the Holy Spirit has guided me the whole way and uh, has reigned in my heart. We receive the oblation of the holy people to be offered to God. Understand what you do imitate what you celebrate, and conform your life to the mystery of the Lord's cross. I'm just feeling great and feeling blessed and filled with the Holy Spirit and thankful that God chose me to, to serve his church. It's just the peace and the quiet and uh, the love of God. You can fulfill the ministry of priesthood if you continue what you will do today in a few moments to empty yourself every day so that the Lord Jesus fills you. Yeah, I'm excited, oh, no, I'm so happy that uh, in spite of my worthiness, the Lord considered me and delivered me to this office of the uh, priesthood. And uh, just like the Archbishop said in the homily, you know, to empty myself and uh, you know, in total surrender to God and uh, you know, to be filled. 
with the Holy Spirit so I can minister to him and his people. And for that gift of the priesthood, I'm so happy. Andrew, do you promise respect and obedience to me and to my successors? I do. May God, who has begun this good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. If I had to like articulate the expression that I felt really throughout most of the uh, most of the ordination, right, was like, "Are you for real?" That's just what I kept on. I, I kept on repeating in my head, like, "Are you real? Are, are you for real, Lord? Like, did you just do that?" Um, and that is 100% the fact by the sacrament. Like, it's a guaranteed encounter with Jesus, and he, and he impart, imparts a grace upon us for this purpose. And so, um, just giving thanks to God and, and hoping that this is really not about us and my seven brothers, but it's really about the glory of God and praising him and giving him thanks. Seeing, the, seeing my dad there, and I knew he was going to be there, of course, but uh, it's just so amazing knowing that like my dad's right there praying for me throughout all of this. That he's praying for me and he's taking care of me in, in his own father fatherhood and fulfilling that role. But my hope is to be faithful. My hope is to be a faithful priest that's prayerful and that's desiring to sacrifice for his people and to love them. My sisters and brothers, these men, your relatives and friends, we're now priests of the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, and we are indeed very thankful for them and very proud of them.